Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on The Jungle Book, 1967 Disney Film Review. Now, as you know, The Jungle Book is meant to be based on Ryder Kimpin's 1894 novel or book of the same name as well as being the 19th animated Disney feature film and was also meant to be the last film produced by Walt Disney. Now, there were early versions of the screenplay in that which were meant to be more close to, to the author's work which Disney didn't want, which I can kind of understand. Now, the premise of the movie is about Bagheera who mainly takes a young orphan boy Mowgli from his family from the wolves to the man village to be safe from Shere Khan. Now, I would say Bagheera is a bit more of the voice of reason, trying to help Mowgli see that the man village is his only option. And the point of Mowgli is meant to kind of be torn between living in the jungle and being more basically with his own kind. So, throughout the movie, we see how Baloo plays a part, and he's a bit more of the opposite of Bagheera. He's a bit more wild, he's a bit more over the top, plus he's meant to be a bear and also meant to be the more fun type. So, after going through many shenanigans, from Car the Snake, to the monkeys, and so on, you're kind of left with Baloo realising that Bagheera may be right. And of course, one event leads to one thing, and that event leads to that one. And I think what the movie does well with Shere Khan is that they set him up perfectly near the end, because it's kind of meant to make you wonder who Shere Khan is, what's his issues with. And when we see him hunting for a deer, and even and even meant to be sort of more sinister, more sort of going, uh, basically crossing a line, you know that this is a villain you don't want to mess with. And I think what makes the opening work, in my opinion, is when it opens to the storybook, it keeps that feel to, to the Jungle Book. And when you see the beautiful artworks of the waterfall, the jungle areas, and so on, it really captures the movie so well. And I think what else the movie does well at, which I think I think a lot of us can admit is, it knows how to do slapstick, but knows how to do some serious stuff. When it's got slapstick, it knows how to be funny, but over time it can go a little over the top, but they do know how to turn it tone it down when it goes into something serious, or something like, say, Baloo trying to persuade Mowgli to go back to the village. When it's got slapstick, it knows how to act over the top with Baloo and Bagheera rescuing Mowgli from King Louie. And it really, really knows how to balance it well. But yeah, at times it can go over the top, but it knows how to tone it down a bit. So, I also do admit what was interesting about the Jungle Book, there was actually meant to be another character called Rocky the Rhino, which tragically never happened. And with the film itself, the Jungle Book, it actually got a sequel called The Jungle Book 2 in 2003, and a live action remake in 2016. So I think, in a way, we even got the Jungle Cubs that was more like a toned-down, kiddie version of the Jungle Book. And as well, and as well that the film, I think, definitely hit its mark. It knew what it wanted to tell. And throughout it, I would say the Jungle Book knew how to, how to do songs, because when it's got about... When it's got the song The Bare Necessities, it's more about letting go of your problems. When you've got the song The Vultures, it's meant to be about being friends and being more accepted. 
And when it's got the song, I want to be like you with King Louis, it's more about, I want to be something like you. And I would say by the end of it, the Jungle Book gave the bare necessities and left an alright film. So I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.